Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog for July the 11th, 2019. And uh, as promised, uh, finally we got the markers. Not great markers, Casey. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, you were sitting on your ass all day. You could have gone to the store. Yeah, everybody knows that that is not true. Uh, but regardless, uh, and uh, at least they're safe and non-toxic. And, and and yeah, I could you know you can do anything you want with these, and I can't be trusted with the real markers, so that's good. So I mean, the purpose of writing on your mirror, I, I think, is uh, there's something unique about a mirror, right? Um, besides the fact that you can look in the mirror and it shows you some things, some days, something that it won't show you the next. There's the complexities of looking yourself in the mirror and all of that. But it's also a place that we all generally start our day with, where you're brushing your teeth and you're doing things to get ready for your day. Assuming that you are able to get out of bed, and I shouldn't make that assumption. But when you look in the mirror, if there's a message on that mirror, if there's a message on that mirror that you have written specifically to yourself, something that no one else could write because nobody else knows exactly where you're vulnerable and how you think, if there's a message on there, then maybe it reminds you how to start your day. So I have done uh, two messages today, and I'll continue to do messages until we fill up this mirror. And these messages are particular for me. They get to what I struggle with in the morning, and that more than anything is, is fears, uh, anxieties that get blown way out of proportion. Most of these are actually based on, on real things that should concern me, but not to the magnitude that they do and not with the negativity that I apply to myself. So here they are. Let's uh, do this case. Can you get a good shot of that? Michael, important to, you know, to, to write on there, uh, you know, the, the fact that it's kind of a wake up. Michael, it's telling me this is for you. Remember those fears. They will pass. They always do. And my God, that is so important for me because when I tell myself that I can, I can accept it, I can go and begin my day believing that, you know what, they passed yesterday and the day before and the day before. Why do I get so obsessed with the idea that they're not going to pass? And then the second one is, and this probably goes for everybody, Michael, remember, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. I mean, let's face it, you're looking in this mirror and you're reading that because you have these negative thoughts and you have anxiety or depression or whatever it is that has, has been affecting you. And one of the things that it does to us is it tells us, you deserve this. This is your fault. You are to blame. You brought this upon yourself. You are weak. And when you read that, you don't deserve this. It's a reminder. You know what? I'm not weak. You know what? I didn't bring this upon myself. You know what? This is not my fault. What are you writing on the mirror? I got some great suggestions uh, in yesterday's uh, response to the Lands Blog. I'd like to hear today. Uh, this is the Daily Lands Blog. We're here 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Um, we're here because not only do we have shit to say, we've got shit to write down. <laughs>